Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're a game developer, 3D artist, or just someone who loves getting free high quality assets, you're going to want to stick around for this video. It's that time of the month where Epic Games is back at it again with their free Unreal Engine 5 asset drops. This time we're diving into this week's free asset from September the 23rd to October the 7th. And so in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about these three free asset packs. We'll take a close look at what's included in each pack, how you can use them to elevate your projects, and why you should absolutely grab them before they're gone. Trust me, you don't want to miss out this week. Whether you're making an environment, a cinematic, or just experimenting with building a game in Unreal Engine 5, these assets are a must-have. From a post-apocalyptic environment to game-ready characters and props, there's just something here for everyone. So don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell so you never miss out on these free asset updates. And without further ado, let's jump right in and see what Epic has in store for us this time. Alright, so the first asset pack that we have here is this Adventures Characters Pack. Now this pack is a game-ready character pack like a post-apocalyptic survival game so you can see this character has sort of like this gas mask and yellow jacket but what's neat about this is they have all these different details so there's i believe four different character types so starting in the back over here we have this character with this gas mask it has sort of like this vest you can see all the details of like the cloth and the nice thing about these assets are that they're game ready so they're not like super they're not like super nanite detail as you can see they're just using some normal maps and some basic topology so they're not going to be super heavy on your gpu and here's another character you can see this is a female character we have a gas mask there they have this rope and different accessories and i forgot to mention this pack is also modular so all the accessories you're seeing like the backpacks the side pouches all of that stuff can be customized, removed, added, and even equipped if you wanted to create some sort of player equip system for different types of gear. So you can make like the gas mask removable, things like that. Okay, and then we have the last character over here, which is this sort of female character. We have the hat, the glasses, and sort of like this combat cargo pants outfit. So yeah, like I said, there are different variants. So you can see all the different color variants of the characters. But also you can see that it comes with some simple props. So we have a pistol, a knife, we have a little muzzle attachment there. And even the assets are completely modular. Okay, this is pretty nice as well. We have a little sniper and even this police riot gear. So yeah, here are the different modular assets. So you can see the clothing, the jackets, are all separated out which is really nice to have so you can see that adds for more different varieties in characters so we have another character kind of reminds you of the last of us you know just the different outfits as well as the character design is probably inspired by that game so again here are some more different modular pieces like the gas mask i guess it even comes with this prisoner suit as well so i didn't even notice that it came with this jumpsuit so i guess just the different color variations make it look like you have more different outfits rather than just the four standard characters that come included in the pack okay so this thing is fully animated and rigged to the u4 and ue5 skeleton so you can see here we have all the animations okay we have our basic idle animations jumping running all of that stuff so you can see everything fully animated and and I've got to say this week's asset packs, or this, I guess, half of the month, are pretty nice and sort of follow this apocalyptic survival game theme. Over here are, I believe, just more different variations and colors and maybe more different customizations. So you can see they come with different color regions. Okay, and again, some more different, uh, more different pieces over here. We just see the modularity of the different characters. And so yeah, that is the adventure character pack. Next up, we have this modular cabin pack. So the best way to describe this pack, if I actually play in here, is it's sort of like this, I don't know, last gen, sort of low detailed, but optimized environment pack. So I can see we have this little cabin. I can actually run in here. It's quite dark with the lumen. So let's just go ahead and show you guys the simple environment detail on the inside. So very simple, doesn't really have any props in here. 
But the thing about this is that all these assets are not super detailed. So they kind of follow the same sort of scalability as the characters. You can see the leaves here. We're not using Nanite or anything like that. So it's kind of like this last gen uh, graphic style. So it's pretty nice to have you know, some options here. And it also goes along very nicely with the characters. And in fact, I can even swap out the character here for the adventure character. So you can see kind of what it looks like. So yeah, I feel like this level definitely matches the same sort of style of the characters. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. But this kind of gives us, you know, this post-apocalyptic survival game theme. Sort of like The Last of Us. And you can make this into like a third-person shooter. But yeah, in the environment itself, I can show you guys the assets that come included. So they separated them out into different levels. Unfortunately, they don't have like a level that has all of them. But here are the different foliage assets. So you can see that we have things like the vines, the bush, and the tree. And again, these aren't like super detailed, so they're pretty well, uh, they're pretty light in terms of performance. Okay, we have the modular cabins. So this kind of just shows you the different pieces, as you can see, and the different customizations they can get. And they also come with interiors. So that's pretty nice. So you can see just all the different styles, the different building shapes and sizes. So you could make a, you know, semi open world or open world map and have these sort of buildings populate the level. Maybe you can add things like loot chests and stuff inside of it for the player to loot certain items, find weapons and different gear and stuff like that. Okay, here are all the modular pieces as you can see. So again, lots of options there. And then all of the props that come included. So there's a decent selection of different assets here. And again, you can combine this with the survival character props. Like they give you some weapons and stuff. So you could collect and create maybe some sort of post-apocalyptic survival game. Okay, so this last asset pack is a little bit strange. It doesn't really fit the theme for this week. So it's called the Orb, the Sci-Fi Environment Pack. And I don't know, it's kind of interesting. But here is this Paragon character. I didn't know you could include Paragon assets in you know, your fab packs. But here are some different particles. It has like this orb in the center of the level. Let me actually see if I can play it here. So yeah, the collision isn't the greatest on these rocks but it's quite dark in this level but you can see it has like these ruins different rocks you have this sci-fi character with this cape blowing in the wind we have like this weird orb level so yeah i'm not really sure how this fits into the general theme you know they kind of just threw this one in here but yeah let me know what you guys think about this asset down in the comments down below it does include a little level here to showcase the different assets that come included. And again, the lighting isn't that great, so I'm just gonna flip into the unlit mode. It does include a couple of different props in here. You know, different rocks that you can use. Maybe you can use this to build out, you know, a cave or a dungeon, stuff like that. I do like some of the style of these rocks. It looks like they're not really nanite uh, detailed. So again, this looks like something that you could use with LODs, not too heavy on performance. But yeah, those are all the asset packs for this couple of weeks till October the 7th. So make sure you go ahead and claim them before they're gone. Also, let me know what you guys think about these asset packs down in the comments down below. It is pretty cool to see them including some assets to fit in a sort of theme, but that isn't always the case every single you know few weeks. Sometimes they just throw in random ones. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. That's pretty much it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.